it's my P P Y K Deluxe motherboarding site. Let's just have them fixed and ship back. Let's take a look. See if it got a brand new board or if they had it fixed instead. On the ASUS website, um, our repair status, it says it's repaired and final tested and then shipped back. So, I don't know. We'll find out. Didn't tell me much. Okay. Now FedEx box. Looks like they fixed it instead. I remember that thing. Doesn't have any antenna. And the battery looks old. It's got fingerprints on it. Well, they added the protection thing though. Okay, since they came up on Zeus, it should be in working condition. Can finally do some overclocking on that E1200. That's rock. So here's the P5KT logs installed and running. They did fix it, it's working. Saturn dual core E1200 on stock cooling. Very small cooler. Two of Two sticks of uh, one gigabyte uh, OCZ DDR2800 volume RAM and uh, 2900 XT and a caseless setup. All right, let's go see how well this thing overclocked on a stock cooler. Okay, 375 times A, 3 gigahertz. Uh, voltage is set to 1.465 volt, uh, volt, and right now it's showing 1.44 volt. And here, let me show you 3 gigahertz, 8 times multiplier, 375 megahertz bus speed, and read it far side bus. 1500 megahertz, and we're going to run SuperPi. One million instruction. Let us see how it works. Twenty-five seconds. A three gigahertz twenty-five seconds super fine. On stock cooler.
as you can see. So at the end, overclock the memory yet? It's only running at 375 megahertz. So that's uh, about 750, 780. Pretty impressive little chip.